Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I just cannot take you seriously. Okay. I can't. Melanin Pop. Melanin Pop. Melanin Pop. Hey, it's your girl. What's happening? I've got a question for you. What's poppin'? Now you know I always have the answer, so what's poppin' is this interview that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did with Oprah. It's got everybody in their fillings and everybody's talking about it. Honey, it is the latest, most juiciest, most salacious bit of gossip going around town. And when I say everybody's talking about it, I mean everybody, CNN, MSNBC, all the talk shows are talking about it. They talked about it on The View. They talked about it um, on the Pierce Morgan show. He got mad and stormed off. Wendy Williams <laughs> even talked about it on her show. All the news outlets, people are talking about it. So is it any surprise that Meghan Markle's dad, Thomas, crawled out of his hole and decided to talk about it too. I'm going to let you guys fight over Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and the Royals, okay? I would suggest you don't though, because that's not our battle. Honey, those are the elites, okay? I know that they're human and they go through stuff too, but whatever they're going through, they're doing it in luxury. So when they're feeling the heat and they don't want to take it anymore, they get on a jet and they fly away. Must be nice. <laughs> we have to stay and endure all the crap that gets thrown at us. So I'm not going to get too invested in that stuff. But yeah, let's talk about it. It's entertaining. Let's kiki. But other than that, calm down. I was reading comments on social media and people were squaring up like they want to fight. Like, you know, meet me at the playground at three o'clock. We go square up about it. Like, seriously, you guys are going to fight over Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Yeah, I think not. Stop. Okay, that's not our battle. I'm not even interested in talking about them. What I find more amusing about all of this is the fact that Meghan Markle's dad is still talking to the media under the guise of trying to reconcile with his daughter. Listen to me, right? I am not a fan of Meghan Markle. I'm just not. Those are my personal feelings about it. So I'm not a fan of Meghan and Prince, but I'm also not a hater. As I said, this is all entertaining. However, I do not believe her father one bit. I don't think that he's trying to reconcile with her because this is not the way. So either his brain is half-baked or he's just straight lying. If I want you and I to have a good relationship, I know that by going to news outlets and selling my stories to the tabloids, it is not going to go well with you and I. So I'm not going to do those things. He has grandchildren. He says he wants to be a father and he wants to be a grandchildren to any kids that Prince Harry and Meghan have. And yet he does not try or attempt to have a relationship with his other grandchildren. I can just not take him seriously, guys. Well over 20 years, off and on, off and on, he decides when he wants to be a father. And Megan even started paying some of his bills. She was trying. But this man, to me, in my opinion, I'm not going to call him a joke. I shouldn't say that. But I just cannot take him seriously. I cannot. I am so sick and tired of people guilting folks into accepting their toxic parents. But yet, when these adult children are toxic, the first thing we say is no. Kick them out the house or teach them a life lesson or cut them off. They're draining. And people will even use scripture from the Bible. Thomas Markle grew up in the angelical Christian faith. So you grew up hearing stuff like spare the rod, spoil the child. But I've always wondered why they never talk about the Bible verses that says how parents are supposed to treat their children. Do you know that the Bible even instructs you to leave a legacy for your children and an inheritance? If you die and your kids have to put up a GoFundMe to bury you, you are not following the instructions of the Bible. 
<laughs> oh no, I know somebody's gonna get mad right now, but I'm just putting it out there. Why is it we back up these parents when they want to cut these lazy adult children off or these toxic adult children or these disrespectful adult children, but nobody, literally nobody ever addresses these toxic, irresponsible parents. It doesn't matter what they did in their life. It's on you to take them back and embrace them or you're not a good child. That's your dad. That's your mother. How could you say that? How could you do that? <laughs> not all parents are created equal. There are some parents who need to be dumped, who need to be forgotten. And I'm sorry, but Thomas Markle's actions tell me that he's one of those parents that needs to be dumped. He literally did not seem to care until Meghan married a royal. So whatever you think about Meghan, whatever you think about Prince Harry, whatever you think about the royals, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm more interested in knowing what the royals have to say, what Prince Harry's dad has to say. He grew up with him. But Meghan Markle's dad was pretty much non-existent. Why do I care how he feels? People are saying he's an opportunist. I read the comments on a lot of social media platforms and there were people who dislike Meghan Markle. I mean, they really hate her. And yet they hate her father even more. That's very telling. But they're saying that he needs to go away and that he's an opportunist. That is very telling. So I don't know who's running to hear his story. I'm not. I don't mind hearing what the queen has to say or what the royals have to say. I literally do not want to hear what Thomas Markle has to say. I just do not. I cannot take him seriously. Sir, you chose the streets. You chose the women. You chose a fast life over being a father. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what you guys think about this, um, but I do appreciate you for listening. So go ahead and <laughs> follow me on Facebook and on YouTube so you'll know every single time that I upload. Okay, y'all, let me go ahead and get on out of here. <laughs>